Uh, there are a few of you in the chat already. Yay. Thank you very much for coming. Um, I've had a question about my family. I am going to update um, everybody in just a little bit. Hello, Timothy. <laughs> um, Adriana, can you see, is Timothy modded? Okay, good. So, looks like a few people are here. I'm not seeing a whole lot yet, but we're going to say hi to everybody. So, um, if I can get my chat to scroll up. <laughs> so, it looks like we have support from Barcelona. Thank you, Benny. They came in earlier today. Um, I don't know why this isn't scrolling. Because hmm. I know there's someone above them, but I can't reach it. So I think it's Paul. Thank you. He said he was the first in the chat. We have Julie Morris saying she's third. <laughs> and hi, Belinda. Thank you for coming. I really, 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 really appreciate you being here and asking about my family. I will update everybody in just a little bit. Hello, Susanna. Thank you for coming. I intrigued you, didn't I, with my what is different? <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. And there's Timothy. I sound very high pitched. Oh, great. Well, my daughter is behind the scenes. She's helping me today down here. And my son is in the chat. And they're saying I sound really high pitched. So do I sound normal or do I sound like I'm in a tin can? Am I in a tunnel? <laughs> oh, okay. And there's Julie Morris again and Day Trip Vintage Co. Thank you for coming. That's Miss Julie. Appreciate it. People saying hello to everybody. This is my daughter, my lovely daughter, in the chat. <laughs> okay, wonderful. I will let you guys know about my mom and sister. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> A little tunnel? Hmm. Okay, good, thanks. Maybe I was just talking really high. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. She was commenting. So do you see all of these lovelies here behind me? This is what we're going to be selling today. So excited. Thank you, Norma Jean, or Jeannie, I think is what it is, right? Thank you for subbing and coming in. Yay, I'm going to show you my brooch. <laughs> if I can get it up there. Here, let me see. My brooch I'm wearing today are these two lovely dolphins. Might stand up. <laughs> and they are all bedazzled. <laughs> and got the blue eyes. I got this from, I believe it was Mid Century Wasted. So. To check out her channel. Um, I got them from her on Instagram. And I'm going to try something here. Just give me a sec. You see my. Did I go away? Okay, just for a sec. <clears throat> Yay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, all the treasures. Uh, Adriana, do you get me some wax? I'm having an issue. Thank you. <laughs> so if you have ever had braces before, hello, Judy. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And hello, Perla. 
Thank you for coming. So glad to see you. Yeah, there's sometimes, I don't know, you sub and sometimes YouTube takes away if you haven't like watched something of their channel. Um, I don't know. So, yeah. So if you've ever had braces, you know that they kind of rub against your uh, inside uh, your cheeks and stuff. So that's what I'm having an issue with. And she's going to help me fix it. Thank you, Susanna. I appreciate it. Yes. So the form at the top is how you need to register if you'd like to make a purchase today. Um, and there are mo most of the questions are required, like uh, your real name, your YouTube name, uh, your address and PayPal email address. I do send out invoices through PayPal. And that's, so that's how I can, um, send you your items. <laughs> uh, some of them are questions that are not required, such as your favorite color, um, maybe what you collect. That is to help me to be able to curate items better for you guys. So just, you know, if you don't want to fill those out, no problem. Um, if you do uh, put them in, that just helps me to know what to look for when I'm outsourcing. So, okay, I'm going to have to take care of this. So let me do it while everybody comes in. Hello, Pat Doodles. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. I've been to a couple of your live sales. And um, thank you for coming to mine. <laughs> And there's several people that have uh, YouTube channels and such, so make sure you check them out. Um, a lot of great people in this community of reselling and the vintage reselling and a lot of support. So come say hello, check out each other's channels and have fun. Um, not right now because it's hard to come can you come around without bumping it? My son wants to say hello. No, go around the other way. Uh, no, no, no. It's not going to work? Okay, come this way then. <laughs> oh, sorry. Say hello. Hi. He's up there. They're up there. <laughs> this is Daniel. Say hi. Hi. Okay. You working on your schoolwork? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He looks like a Mr. Beefcake today. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hello, Caroline. Thank you for coming. Yay. Yes. Wonderful. Thanks. Yes. I think I did see your name on there. So, and I can check um, pretty easily if you are registered and let you know. So. Hello, sweet Kim. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Yay. She's got great uh, YouTube channel as well. Make sure you check her out. She's so sweet. I just love her. And I love when you get to giggling and you had your, um, you told your joke. It was so cute. I loved it. <laughs> so more jokes from you. And I see Dina from Thrifty Junker here. Thank you very much, Dina, for coming. Check out her channel. She's trying to get to 100 subs and definitely worth it. Like, she puts out content like you would not believe. Uh, so go check her out, please, everybody. And, oh, I see Cajun. There you are. Hello, Johnny. Hello. <laughs> I love how you always say that. That's cool. Oh, cooking dinner already? Wow. You must eat early. <laughs> All right. Oh, and Maria, my chat just jumped. Maria from California Thrifter, thank you for coming in. And oh, there's Amber. Hello. Okay. Give me one second. And then I will explain to you how today's live sale will go just a little bit differently. Okay? So, hang on. Peekaboo! 
red beans and rice. Oh, that would take a while. Okay. I see. Yeah, it could be the time zone they're in. That's for sure. Hi, Jen. Thank you for coming today. Yes. Yes. Um, no problem. Yes. So Jen was on my channel last week. She was my guest seller um, and did a great job. It was her first time. So share her or share your love with her. <laughs> uh, she's just starting out and um, she had a, a little, well, not a little, a big fender bender kind of <laughs> um, in her vehicle. So she's uh, a little behind on invoicing and stuff. So give her just a couple more days of grace. And um, if you have any questions, shoot her an email or you can talk to me or whatever as well. So either way, but they are coming just, you know, <laughs> just uh, be patient. That's the word of the day, right? Okay, I think, oh, I see my niece is here. Hello, thank you for coming too. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so um, here is how it's going to go today. I'm going to let you guys choose what's the next item, okay? So I will say, like I'll say dog or cat, and then you guys put in the chat which one that you would like to have next. And um, yeah, and then uh, I will pick whatever one I see first in the chat, then I will pick that item or pick something that is that, and that will be the item up for sale, okay? Some of the items will be buy it now, and some will be, um, what's it called, guys? Offer up, that's what it is. <laughs> so here, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> so I will hold it up, and I'll show you what it is, and I'll say this item is offer up, and my daughter is going to put in what it is. She'll say offer up dog or whatever and then the starting amount so you'll be able to see that and as soon as you see that you are welcome to bid on that item okay so or put your offer in on that item and so this is not the first thing so just wait uh, <laughs> so then you'll so i'll say you know maybe the starting bid is five dollars or two dollars or whatever and then you guys put in um your offers. And then when I see people that start to say that they're out, then I will give a countdown and my son, Timothy, will uh, say, when I say sold, he'll type in sold. And whoever is the, the highest amount before he says sold, they're the person that gets it. Okay. So I try to make it as fair as possible, and I've seen how all of the other um, people have done auctions and uh, live sales and stuff, and trying to make it the best that I can and the fairest, fairest that I can. My son cannot hear me in real life. <laughs> he is upstairs, and <laughs> he hears me just like you guys are hearing me through the stream, and it's because of the lag. There's lag that goes from me to you guys and then when you type in then it takes a little while for it to get back to what i see so trying to make it the fairest in the land right <laughs> hello philly mr paul thank you for coming i appreciate it all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get started then um Again, to register, please fill out the form that's pinned in the comment at the top. It is also in the description. So you can fill that out at any point in time. Um, but you might want to do it ahead of time so that, uh, you know, you're ready to bid when it's time or to offer. I quit saying those words. 
Okay. So the first item, I'm just going to do it um, as just, I'm not going to give a choice. I'm just going to do it. Okay. And then all the rest will be a choice. So, um, let's see, where should we start today? I'm going to start with a set. Well, actually, see, I can't make a decision. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to start with something that's not an animal. I'm throwing a, a wrench in the, in the plane. Okay. So. I know this isn't an animal. All the rest of the items will be an animal, okay? But I wanted to offer this up, or I wanted to show this to you guys first, and um, we'll see how this how this goes. What? Yes. But what? No, I don't have any size 16 shoes. Sorry. No shoes today. Well, no uh, shoes that are. Where are we good? Got it. Thank you, Jen, for letting me know. I will make sure. I don't think. I actually don't think I have any turtles or frogs. I cannot believe this. <laughs> That's funny because I have all kinds of animals. Hello, Westside Gary. Thank you for coming in. Really appreciate it. Yay. All right. So this is the first item. It is a canister. It's a tall canister. And it says, ha, ha, ha. I got to learn where the camera is again. It says yum. So this would be great for biscotti or any kind of tall cookies or things that you have. Um, it does have the rubber stopper in there. And you could put your dog treats in here or cat treats or whatever. So there you go. Um, it is Ray Den. Ah, there we go. It's the Artisan Collection. Um, it says it may get hot in microwave. I don't know that I'd put this in the microwave. It is dishwasher safe and it is made in China, but it is Ray Den and, uh, it has this lovely pink with the polka dots there. So it is Ray Den. <laughs> Good job, Jen. <laughs> All right, so this one is going to be a set price. See there, it says yum. It's going to be a set price of $15 for this lovely canister. And it is item number 100. So if you would like this item, please put item or put in 100 in the chat. You may have the canister. So, whose home is this going to grace today? I just thought it was really, really cute. And I thought biscotti. I don't know why. Or, you know, those uh, pirouette. Um, is it pirouette? No, what's it called? I don't know. Those really long wafer like cookies. Those would be really good in here because it's the tall and skinny. All right. I'll set that over here. Yay, Jen, thank you very much. I will write you down there for that. Okay. Now, 
Sorry. <laughs> Here, I'll put a different one up for you. <laughs> I'm new at putting, doing these comments and stuff. So, you know, here we go. <laughs> Hello, Proud American. Thank you for coming. Um, I have not learned your name yet. So if you um, could let me know your name, I would love to know what to call you besides Proud American because we're all Proud Americans. At least I am. Okay. <laughs> okay, go pretend to work. Thank you. Uh oh. Oh, yes. I did forget about my family. I will update you right now. Um, <laughs> I know. That's fine. That's fine, Gary. Um, so let me update you real quick on my family. The choice, though, is cat or dog. What do you want the next item to be? Cat or dog? Put it in the chat. Um, PK, your name isn't lame. No name is lame. <laughs> PA, okay. We could call you Pa. <laughs> I don't know if that would work. <laughs> All right, PA. Okay, so my family, my sister and my mom were in the hospital. Uh, my mom had a heart attack on not yesterday but the day before was that saturday so she went to the er on saturday and uh they admitted her did a bunch of tests and everything she had a heart catheter yesterday they did find blockage but it was in very small um okay very small um arteries and so it was too small to do a surgery or or to do the ballooning or the stents and so there is no surgery she is going to get to go home today um she is still in pain from the heart cap and stuff but no more chest pain so that's good um also hello Brittany. thank you for coming um and picky nikki yes thank you and willow i'll see her thank you thank you thank you everybody for coming um so she's getting to go home today she's doing better um she, they're just gonna manage it with medicine and also like watching her <laughs> um very closely for the next few months at least um that was my mom um and then my sister went into the hospital i believe it was friday night not sure, or afternoon or something, um, because she has um, kidney failure and um, has to be in dialysis uh, like three times a week. But so they both had COVID and then these things happened. So because of COVID, it can cause some, uh, some blood clotting and different things um, to happen. So we think that's why um, these things happened like all of a sudden. Um, but they are recovering from the COVID and everything. So, um, but they were watching my sister for blood clots, but she is doing better now. I think they've got her on some different medicine and stuff too, to help manage with the blood pressure and whatnot. So good news. They're supposed to be going home today. <laughs> I don't know if they're already home or not, but anyway. Thank you everyone for praying and for asking and whatever. So, okay. So I saw Kat in the chat first. Um, so I'm going to pick a cat. Okay. I'm going to pick from this side. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to do this one. And this, these little beauties have kind of green eyes and they just look like you just want to pet them Let's see if i can get them to show up good there we go they are leftin made in japan and it has a number on the bottom here
And these are going to be, yes, the eyes are cool. These are going to be, I don't have my sheet here. <laughs> oh, well. Um, let's do an offer up. Okay. And I know my daughter's not here to write it in. So, um, hello, soulmate. Yes. Thank you for coming. Um, we're going to do offer up on these. We're going to start them at $3. And you guys can go ahead and start um, on these lovely white kitty, kit, kitty cats. They look like they should be named Snowflake and Cotton Balls. <laughs> Snowflake and cotton. <laughs> Belinda's in for three. Anybody in for four? I see Judy, but it's got to be higher than three. And there is absolutely no chips or cracks or anything on these. These are very, very, very pretty. They are super cute. These lovely adorables. I'm gonna try to move kind of quickly. Hello, Wings of Love. Thank you for coming in. Yes, they are quite cute. Quite cute. Quite cute. I can't talk. <laughs> all right. So, all right. I see Belinda for $3. We're going to call it going once. And they have a slight bit of little, like, gray um, here that's not shadow. That's, like, painted on there. And going twice. And I do have, Willow, I do have my daughter and my son that are helping me. <laughs> However, <laughs> she was gone for a minute, so it'll be all right. You were supposed to type the offer up, but it's okay. No worries. And sold. Thank you, Miss. I believe it's Miss Belinda. I don't see any other uh, bids coming in. So we're going to put that in over here. And that was item number 101. Oh, I put those in the wrong space. Forgive me. There we go. Okay. Now, your next choice is. Let's see. I'm going to give you a different choice. Let's go with pigs or cows. Pigs or cows. Which do you think should be next? <laughs> this lag is annoying. Everybody said pigs? Okay. I need to do something here. One second. Okay, so... Piggies it is. Oh, where did they go? They're on this side. 
So this is a set of pigs. And we're going to do an offer up on these. We're going to start them at four dollars because there's four of them. Okay. So really good price. So these are either stone or glass. I am having a hard time figuring it out which they are. Okay. So I will try to show you as best I can. I'm going to show one at a time. There are four of them. Okay, so this guy, he's laying, she's, maybe it's a she, she's laying down. <laughs> Got this little piggy, and look at the little tail. And the, this one is doing the classic, uh, what is it, the senior, senior pictures pose. And these little dots on here, I must not have wiped these up because those are all like coming off. So maybe a sticker residue or something. I didn't didn't wipe them as well as I thought. And here's this one. This one is looking up, kind of making a salute. They just look so cute. For some reason. Ah. There we go. Now I can see your chats. Hello, Tina Hendricks. Thank you. Yes, $4 start. Hello, hello. Welcome. And I think I saw Debbie. Yay. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for coming. There. Yes, they are hams. <laughs> yes, there are four of them. Did you put in offer up and starting bid? Oh, she's snoozing on the job. And here's the last one. He's got his hand over his mouth or something or up to his mouth. Maybe he just got done eating an apple. But they are so cute. They do not have any marks on the bottom. Um, they've got some tooling marks or whatever, I would think. Um, and Tina is in at four. Do I have five? They just look so cute. They've got the little, <laughs> their little tails. Um, so I'm not sure if they're stone or because they are cold or if they're and they're a slight pink, um, almost white, but they do have a slight tinge of pink. So I'm going to try and hold up all of them at once here if I can finagle it. Let me see. I don't know if I'm this talented. There we go. I did it. Here they are. Ooh, ooh. All four. And we got Tina in at $4. Tina Hendricks. Looking for five. Hello, Kennedy. <laughs> and I see the flipping sports guy in here. Thank you. Welcome. Uh oh, what is what what is Nate saying? <laughs> it's all right. We we understand. Okay. So four little piggies for four dollars. That is very, very good price. Okay, dokie. And 
Um, we're going once. Yeah. Hello, Tammy. Thank you for being here. Uh, they. I don't think they are the. I don't think they're doing that exactly. I think they're just different expressions. Because, yeah. I don't know. I don't think they're that. All right. And I don't know if I said going twice. And sold. Set those over here. All right. And the next choice that you guys have, let's see. Um, let's go with bird or fish. Bird or fish. Yes, they are very, very cute. <laughs> oh, and I, and I just now saw the sold. Thank you, thank you. All right. So those are sold to Miss Tina Hendricks, and that was number 102. I'm showing you guys and telling you the numbers, not that you guys need to keep track, um, but I need to keep track. <laughs> and um, yeah. So, oh, I see bird. Yes. I see bird. Okay. All right. I will do a bird next. Give me one second. Those were. Tina. All right. Now. Which bird? I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, I have more than one. <laughs> so this little birdie, this is all white. Again, that's sticker residue. I'm not getting it off very well. I'm sorry, guys. I think it's sometimes the lighting um, in different places and this has like a really bright light so I can see it a little clearer anyway um, so I will make sure that all sticker residue and everything is off of these so this one is marked on the bottom and this is going to be a buy it now okay guys although there were several of you that wanted wanted it so hmm I'm gonna start it out at $3. Okay, so I'm going to do an offer up, Adriana. An offer up for $3 on this lovely bird, and it is all white. There's no chips or cracks or anything anywhere. Um, okay, so there is a tiny little, uh, I don't know if it's going to show. On the branch, a tiny little divot there. Um, it is marked something on the bottom. I think it says 1059. That's the only markings that I see on here. So this is starting bid at Or this cute bird that's on sitting on the branch. Looks kind of like I don't know which bird it is. But the beak is in good shape. There's a little dot on the top here. Ugh. Cannot seem to get that lighting and everything right, but all right. Southeast to be sure. Hello, Patricia Robinson. Thank you for coming. <laughs> All right, I see Julian for $3. Got some great prices, guys. Oh, 
Anyone coming in for $4? Bird of porcelain. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Thank you for being here. <laughs> yes. Got some sarcastic people in the chat today. <laughs> Between Paul and Paul and uh, <laughs> um, Proud American. Yay. Got some sarcasm going. All right. I'm not seeing any other bids. So we're going to start at the countdown. Going once. Going twice. And if I hold it over here. Sold. All right. And that was number 103. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I was trying to think, where did my fourth item go? All right. Oh, and I didn't mention anyone that purchases today will be put <laughs> sarcasm as your love language. Surely not. <laughs> um, I'm going to be putting you guys in for a uh, giveaway at the end okay so you don't it'll be a critter i don't know which one yet but it will be a critter oh awesome you started a collection of all white pottery nice well that'll go in perfectly it's it is really cute okay um so your next choice is brown or Pink, brown or pink? Which would you prefer? Oh, brown was first. All right. I did see a couple pink. Don't worry, I'll get to the pink. Okay. So I gotta go with this little, little guy. He is so cute. Okay, I don't know, maybe the camera. I hope he can, it can do it justice. Okay, this little bunny, he is like a chocolate brown. Okay, and I say chocolate for a reason. So. <laughs> okay um so this little bunny here we're gonna start him off at we're gonna start him off at five dollars he's just so cute okay and he can hold he can hold a little egg here or some little um little candies maybe those little robin eggs or something that would be really really cute in there and i was going to measure him he is about four and a half inches long by three and a fourth inches wide okay but i think it could hold an, an actual like one of those plastic eggs in there um I tried it with a different egg, but it wasn't that size, so I don't know. Uh, but look at him. He's got his little cute mouth. Yes. Starting bid, $5. Oh, and he is marked and made by Morley, Morley Candy Company. Uh, copyright 19... 89 and it says os dash ben 
uh, and it's in Boone, North Carolina. So all of all of that is marked on there. Yeah, the little chocolate eggs. Or colored and it would, you know, brighten it up. So there's like the little grass up here. It's so cute. Got the foot at now this I don't know what this number is on here at all. And I didn't really try I didn't try alcohol or anything to get it off. It does look like it's a Sharpie marker. Um it wasn't the price or anything that I paid for it, but <laughs> uh I don't know what that is. So I see Tina in for five dollars. Yay! He's so cute. Look at his like fuzzy little mouth. Like, I don't know. You just don't, you just want to pinch his cheeks. Pinch their cheeks. <laughs> All right. So, anybody in for six dollars? All right, I'm going to call it. Going once. You got the fuzzy in his ears, too. Well, it's not fuzzy, it's paint, painted white, but it looks, you know, it has that look to it. And going twice. And hello, Miss Sandra. Thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the shout out on your channel. That helps me so much and I love it. Thank you so much. All right. I can call you Pat, no problem. Okie dokie, and sold. Sold, chocolate, bunny. All right, your next choice is glass or porcelain. Glass or porcelain? All right. Let's see what people are saying. Glass or porcelain? Come on, come on. Let me know. I don't have my assistant to tell me what you guys are saying early not saying anything you need to say something glass all right um we're going to go with not glass <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> got glass and not glass. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to go with the glass ones. So these are two glass birds. And when I look these up, okay, I need a white, I need a plain white sheet of paper. It says, can you bring that? I don't know. This ain't going to show it. Um. So these I believe are Scandinavian birds. Yes, I do have some cows. They will be coming soon. <laughs> um, I need a big piece. Well, I prefer a big piece. This will do fine for right now. Okay, so they are clear and they kind of have their head down. So there's two of these and they have the really long tail and um, they are just upstairs. Go get the bird, birds. They have a very, very clear um, pontal on the bottom. Um, but the, with the look of the eyes and everything, they, uh, those have a Scandinavian look. 
All right, so these I'm going to start out. Thank you. Um, I'm going to start these out at $10 for both. Okay, so it's $10 for both. <laughs> I'm doing terrible at holding it up. Ah, sorry, guys. I didn't mean to bump into you. <laughs> All right. Okay, this way. Not too far that way, though. There we go. Now, can you see all of it? All right. So these are very, very well made. They've got cute little beaks. And um, I just, I don't know, I really liked the pair. I didn't want, want to split them up. So we got Jen in for $10. Next bid would be 11 for the set. So um, the shout out that Sandra did for me was on her community tab, and she just shared my, the link to my um, to my live today. So thank you very much. And I think that's what she's talking about is um, on there. And in order to have the community tab, I believe you have to have a thousand subscribers. So I don't have that. So. Anyhow, but <laughs> this camera is driving me crazy. It messes with my brain too much. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start the countdown going once, going twice. And sold. Thank you, thank you. And that was number 104. Yeah, <laughs> one thousand. Okay, so your next choice is. Let's see, um, deer or horse? Deer or horse? Which one will you choose? Actually, I'm going to do something else real quick first. Well, maybe not. Here, I'll, I'll change this. So deer or horse? Yay! My sister's in the car. Hooray, hooray. Oh, and I see deer. Okay. I got your deer coming right up. Hang on just a second. Um, that one was the two glass birds. And it went to... I don't think we had any snipe action, did we? So that went to Jen. Wonderful. All right. Dear, dear, dear. Coming up next. Look at this 
lovely mid-century modern mama and fawn, doe and fawn. Aren't these awesome? These are so cool. Um, on the bottom, they are marked gallery originals. Copyright is 1984, but it just has that mid-century modern look to it because it's very, um, the lines of it is, is very crisp. <laughs> so they are vintage. It's the fact there is absolutely nothing wrong. Um, they they aren't extremely glossy, maybe like a semi-gloss kind of um, to them. So they're not like a matte finish, but they're not extremely high shine or anything. Um, and these are going to, I'm going to start these at, or this one at, uh, we're going to start it at $10. On the ma the doe and the fawn, the baby just sitting there. They're all cuddled up, and it is a an like an ivory color, uh, kind of an off white. It's it's very pretty, not quite a satin, not quite a satin finish either. So we got Belinda Carroll in for ten. Next bid would be eleven. Rose, would you like to come in for 11? And I can tell you the size on them. So it is about six inches long this way. And about four and a half inches tall. Yes. It's okay. No problem. So I see Rose in 11 and then Belinda in at 12. Thank you very much. We've got the tail there. Yes, this is a very, very nice, cute set. There is absolutely nothing, no chips or cracks or nothing. Nothing, nothing. No crazy even, but looks very, very, very nice. It is very hard to watch your parents get older sometimes because you think about all the things that you did with them, you know, when they were younger and you were growing up and, you know, you went out and did stuff and everything. And then you see them get older and older and have more issues and you just want to take their pain away. Yes. Like they do with us too, right? <laughs> yeah. The mama and the baby deer. All right. I see that Rose is out. So I'm going to start calling it. And I did not see what the last bid was. So I'll need some help from uh, mods there. Uh, going once. Going twice. Last and final call. Sold. Gotta keep you guys guessing when I say sold. <laughs> All right. And that was number one oh five. No, no, no. Uh-oh. I've got my numbers off somewhere. What happened? What did I do? Okay. 105 was the glass birds. I got it all figured out. And then the doe and fawn was 106. Okay. All right, so next item 
Let's see. Hmm. We're going to say picture or book. Picture or book. Thank you, Timothy. So, I don't know. What? Timothy, I think. Where, oh, where has my little chat gone? Okay. Okay. Um, Book. All right, I do see. Do a cow? <laughs> I'll do a book first. Okay. And then I'll do a cow. All right. So. The books. I'm going to do two books. They are both um, little golden book. They have both been, these are reprints of the originals. Okay. Um, I'll show them to you one at a time. And starting bid is $5 for both books. All right. So this one is Home for a Bunny. Now, my husband had this one. This one was his, not this particular one, but one like this was his very first book that his mom got for him and read to him all the time. Home for a Bunny. Loved it. Of course. So this one has not been written in with that, you know, like to who it's to or anything. And I have did not see. Yes, yeah, so it is an offer up. $5 start bid. That's okay. They already know. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I see Belinda in at five. Thank you, Belinda. So on the cover, there is, well, there's a sticker up here. It says Smitty's. And then on the back, there must have been a sticker there or something. And it kind of had that little damage there. Um, there's a little bit of wear around the edges and on the binding, but it is really, really good condition. Um, there may have been a little sticker on the front there as well. So, but that looks like it could wipe off easily enough. Um, couple of little bins at the corner. That's about it on this one. So this is copyright 1961. So it was first 1956 and then 1961. Um, I don't see any other dates on this. There is an ISBN number. All right. And then, hello, Dina. Thank you for being here. Yay. I'm so glad you're getting to go home. That's my sister. Everybody's been praying for you. This is the other book. It's the little red hen. And I have a bid in for $5. Does anybody want to put in six? So this one is like almost brand new condition. Like it is pretty, it is very crisp. Doesn't look like it's been used very much at all. Um, and it says the copyright was 1954 and then renewed in 1982. So, like, this is in, like, 
pristine condition. The little red hen. All right, yes. These are all very fun books. I see Debbie in for six, thank you. And it is for both. The home for Bunny, just he just looks so cute. And he's trying to find his home. Spring, 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 sang the frog. Spring, said the groundhog. Spring, 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 sang the robin. It was spring. The leaves burst out. Here, hold on a sec. <laughs> the flowers burst out, and robins burst out of their eggs. It was spring. I cannot wait for spring. And it has actually been, I think we might have a spring here in, I think so, in Wisconsin. <laughs> because it has actually been warm, and all of our snow has melted already which usually it doesn't happen until like April or May. Um, but we were supposed to get some more snow today, so. And I see Belinda back in at nine. It says, in the spring, a bunny came down the road. He was going to find a home of his own, a home for a bunny, a home of his own. Under a rock, under a stone, under a log, or under the ground. Where would a bunny find a home? All right, and we have Debbie in for 10. These are just so cute. And yes, I read to my kids <laughs> when they were little. Not so much anymore because they're kind of, they, they do read on their own. All right, and I'm going to start calling it Going Once. Going twice and sold. Thank you very, very much. That was item number 107. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. All right, my next item, you don't get a choice on this one. <laughs> okay, so my next item is, since we've been talking about a bunny, we're going to do a bunny. And he's got his original box. It is from 1995, copyright. It is made in China. Um, but this is very, 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 very well done. Okay, the detail on this is really, really, really impeccable. Okay. Yes, the old books are better. <laughs> Definitely. All right. So this guy, this is Papa, Papa Jumper and his little baby, Albert Jr. This is the Victorian collection, which you can kind of see by his outfit here. He's got a blue jacket and kind of some yellow or tan pants there. He's got his basket of eggs all ready to go for the egg hunt or maybe they just got done at the egg hunt and are on the way home looks like he's out for a walk so very very cute um and this one is a buy it now for eight dollars and i'm gonna tell you how tall he is he is about six inches tall. Very, very, very well done. And it is number 108. 
I'll just cross my hand. Number 108. Look at him. He's just so, I mean, I don't know. They're so detailed. Very good. All right. So just put in number 108. Thank you, everybody in the chat who's been helping me. I really appreciate it because it is hard to keep track of everything. And look, oh, he's got two carrots in his pocket. I'm so cute. And here's the box if you would like to see. Is in good condition as well, and it tells all about the age of Victoria and tells, oh, okay, this is the real story. All set for a day of manly adventure, it's Papa Jumper with Albert Jr. setting off with a pair of plump carrots and a basket full of decorated Easter eggs, just in case they get hungry. Papa looks proud as punch of his handsome little boy, and they've dressed for chilly weather as they stroll out into the woods. Tiny Albert Jr. has his woolly pants on, along with red and white striped socks to match father's. <laughs> See his socks there? And both jumpers wear warm jackets, and father has pulled a knit cap down. See its special holes to keep his expressive ears. So, what was I saying? We can only imagine what this happy pair will be doing today. Training runs through the trees, perhaps? Or even an egg decorating lesson. What fun. <laughs> well, there you go. And look, the tail is just sticking out. So cute. All right. So that was number 108. for eight dollars all right tina yes um are you still here i could do the cows but i forgot i'm sorry if i see you pop back in hello purple love thank you for coming in tina if you Tina Hendricks, if you are still here, let me know and I'll do the cows real quick. Hello, Vintage Digs. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. And Diane Broder. Bye, Nate. You're probably already gone. <laughs> uh, it is not a daughter, Bunny. Uh, let me see. Where did I put him? Well, I don't know. It's up to you. But it says Albert Jr., so. <laughs> All right. So I'll set that one off to the side. If you're interested, let me know, please. Okay. And for the next item, we're going to do uh, the choice is um, duck or owl, duck or owl. Hello, Patrick, thank you for coming in. <laughs> Say, put in the chat, duck or owl, which one? I see some owls. Alrighty, we're gonna do an owl. I'm gonna do a family of owls. So these might have seen 
Yes. Hello, Sally. Welcome, welcome. And Terry, thank you for coming. Hooray. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we have this one. And he is like this composite of some sort. I do not know what to call it. Okay. He's got a hanger on the back. Or she. Could, I don't know. Could be mama. Or could be daddy. Uh, it's the big owl. So that's the back. And here's the front. And then, and these are going to start out at, we're going to start them off at $10 for the set. Here are the two babies. Maybe I'll show them. There we go. One is facing this way and one is facing this way. Got their tails and they're made of the same thing here. Um, uh-oh, Jen, what's the matter? What's wrong, Jen? What's wrong? <laughs> A pair of hooters. Oh, dear. Misty would say that, wouldn't she? All right. Okay. <laughs> so the, the big one is seven and a half inches tall. And the babies are about three and a half inches tall. You got the mama and the babies starting off at $10. Have any bids? Hello, Flippin' Flamingo. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Got the mama and the babies. Starting bid, $10. <laughs> Oh, I see. You're a thriftaholic. <laughs> well, that happens. <laughs> now you can be a sellaholic, too. <laughs> All right. Got Miss Debbie in for $10. Thank you. Thank you. For the owl family <laughs> pat you're saying duck you you might be uh can someone type in the chat that pat might need to refresh um uh, she might be behind a little bit i don't know because she's answering a little behind all right i know where's dean <laughs> yes he loves the owls doesn't he all right, so thank you. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, let's start the. Oh, we're going to start the countdown. Got a bid in at ten, and we have. I am not as talented as some of these other things at holding all of this. How do they juggle it? I don't know. Here we go. Ta-da! Going once. Going twice. And sold. Yes, very 70s look. Definitely. <laughs> it's definitely not as easy as it looks. All right. Oh, so let's go ahead and do... Um, hmm. Okay, here's your next choice. Cute or sassy? Cute or sassy? That's your choice for today, cute or sassy. Uh, 
And, oh, I see Q first. So, we're going to go with Q. Let me see. I'm going to go with this little one. So I think it's cute. Cute little kitty. Look at those eyelashes. Oh, my goodness. And boy, is she giving that side eye. So maybe she's sassy, too. <laughs> I don't know. She's like, look. Look at that dog over there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, so cute. All right. We're going to go with a starting bid. Of, we're going to say $3 on this little guy. Got his tail sticking straight up. It's a kitty cat. A cute kitty kitty. And it is marked on the bottom. G and G, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Made in Japan. There's the sticker. A cute little kitty. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so now we have, uh, let's see. Thank you, Pat, very much. Um, I see Belinda in for six. And I can tell you about how big it is. It's really big. It's very adorable. It is, oh, it's hard to tell how long. About three inches this way. And I gotta, I'll be right back. <laughs> about three inches tall. It's so cute. Oh, and we have Belinda came in first at 13. Rose at 15. So cute. And these, the um, the whiskers are like they do move. So cute. And I see Judy at 16. Oh, Rose at 18. Like the cute widow kitty. He's so adorable. It is. So adorable. And it's like a really nice butterscotch color. <laughs> oh, I was going to ask Nate what they decided to call his, their little puppy that they got. I think it was his sister got it or something. I was going to ask him what they decided to name him. All right, Belinda in at 23. She came in first that I see. And there is no chips. There's a little tiny, 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 tiny scratch-ish there. Maybe like just a little, actually, it feels smooth just like the rest of it. So that was glazed over. So there is a little bit of crazy. You can see there. And I see Belinda in at 25. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> All right. Um, do I have any sheep? No, I don't. I do not have any sheep. All right. So I'm going to start calling it. Going once. 
going twice. And sold. And yes, I do have more cats. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, yes, I did know that uh, Jenna's, I believe it was her grandmother, I think. Yeah. Her. So, yes. Um, any, I do not know the dog varieties. So it is quite possible I have something that is Dutch Hound. Do I, I can't say. Is it, is it Dachshund? That's Dachshund, right? I think it's Dachshund. Um, I do not have any turtles. And congratulations to Miss, was it Miss Belinda? Did I already say sold? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. And that was number 109. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I have more kitties and more caddies. Okay. I do not have any dachshunds then, for sure, because I know what those look like. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so um, what next item? I don't know what you're saying to me. Okay, big brain. <laughs> My daughter's distracting me too much. Uh, okay, you guys want a sassy one? All right, let's see. Uh, do I? Well, I'm gonna do a sassy now. dog. Well, kind of. Is it a sat? It's a dot. It's a naughty dog. I think so. I'll do sat. Since you asked so nicely. <laughs> um, I'm the cows now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here is the sassy little kitty. Hello, Nancy. Do I see? And Lorianne, thank you. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for coming in. All right, sassy little kitty is, I think this is a, um... <laughs> you're so refreshed now. <laughs> good, good. But I think this is a uh, Siamese, and usually they come in pairs, but there's I only have one. So this little one, I think it's a guy. I don't know. He just looks like a guy. Gets his ram, you know. All right, we're gonna start this one off at three dollars. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you so much. And you can kind of see. I was trying to show you. It's kind of a light blue color eyes. There's no markings on the bottom or anything. There is some crazing on there. You can see in the finish. And. All right. So I have got Belinda at 10. Thank you very much. Could you give me some water? Please. And there is a tiny little bit of uh, I just paint wear, I think, on the ear there. If you can see that. I'm trying to show him all the way around. <laughs> and oh, Belinda's killing you. Vintage digs, I will make sure that you get one, okay? I promise. Is there a particular color or, or anything, um, vintage digs that you're looking for? Yeah, easy touch up on that. $11 with vintage digs. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
and Belinda is out. <laughs> Thank you, Belinda. You're awesome. All right, I'm going to count it down. Going once, going twice, and sold. Thank you, thank you. And um, Veggie Sticks, you'll have to send me the <laughs> um, the address and, and the info. Just email me, okay? So I'll remember. Okay, I'm going to take a drink. Oh, and that was number 110. Number 110. All right, so your next next I next uh, choice is hmm. oh wild or farm wild or farm so wild animals or farm animals. And how many thumbs up do we have? Nine? What was that, 19? I can't count. Nine. We only have nine thumbs ups. Really? Go take a break. Oh, I see wild. Nope, I see, yep, I see wild first. All right, we're gonna go with wild animal. Okay. All right, we're gonna go with these giraffes. Oh, 48 thumbs ups. <laughs> Maybe you need to refresh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I think mine, oh, hello, gutter cats. Thank you very much for coming. Oh, wait, Jen, what is 15? Now I see 50. Oh, yay. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. 51. Hallelujah. <laughs> I might even sing for you guys. Okay. First, we're going to do this. So this is a, this is heavy. It's not extremely heavy, but it's got weight to it. Okay. Um, and it is, I don't know if it is stone or what but it's weight and these all the white markings on the giraffes here are um these are like scratched in or carved in okay to this finish and that's what makes the white show up so you can see the tooling marks on the bottom as well Yes, this will be an offer up, and it we're going to start it off at six dollars. It is they are entwined, like I mean their necks are entwined, and they are kissing. <laughs> My daughter doesn't know how to spell giraffe. I think she does. All right. Yes, so um, in order to register, you, oh, the starting bid is $6. In order to register, you just need to fill out the form that is in the pinned comment at the top, or it is also in the description, whichever is easiest for you to get to. And it will take you there, and you can fill that out, and submit it, and I have it. <laughs> This pair of giraffes at six dollars. Okay. 
Um, I'm just reading your comments. So, Debbie, you're going to do with 50 subs or with 50 um, likes? There's a big difference. <laughs> So I thought about if if I get a certain number of um, likes in a video or a live, I thought I might sing for you guys or something. I don't know. Because I don't have any pets. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and pass on this one. Because I don't see any bids. Is that correct? All right, so the giraffe lovers will have to let me know. Okay. Uh, we're going to, okay, we're going to do picture or paper. Picture or paper, that is your choice. Hello, Miss Moon Goddess, Miss Crystal. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it so much. Yes, I was going to do... Um, a giveaway when I hit 500. I'm a little over 300 right now, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share this with all of your, share my channel with all your friends. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Trying to listen. Oh, you got a bonus surprise. What's your bonus surprise, Miss Nancy? Let us know. You need two more what, Jen? You need two more subs? Well, guys, you got to go over and sub to Miss Jen. Oh, that's awesome, Nancy. That is awesome. That is wonderful. All right. Did I see... What was the choice? Oh, what was paper or picture? Did you guys put that in? Did you put your choice in? Might be a very, very special picture. Oh, you did put the choice in. <laughs> I see a picture first. All right. So here's the picture. Did you get a sneak peek? <laughs> okay, so this, it is framed, and I would prefer not to take it out of the frame. However, I will if you request me to do that, okay? So, um, this is, it, it does have glass on it, and it has a very nice, um, mat as well so that's why I'm kind of not wanting to take it out of the frame. The frame is in pretty good condition. Um maybe a little tiny bit of scratch which I'll show you here in just a sec. But it's a poodle where's my poodle schnoodle lovers Hey guys, so this is a, I cannot get it, okay, so it has texture to it, because I can see the texture, but I believe it is, it is a drawing, it is not a painting, but I think it's a print of it, and, oh, sorry guys, I'm trying to get closer to you, it says Poodle 1984, and the artist is G. Marlo Helen, I believe. Or, no, Alan, I'm sorry. It looks like Helen, however, I'm pretty sure it's Alan, because that's what I looked it up as. Yay, you're at 100, woo woo! I helped you, <laughs> yay, I'm so happy. 
Wonderful. Okay. So we're going to start this off a little bit higher, guys. Okay. At $20. Okay. Hoodish Nuda. It is very, very well done. All right. The mat is a navy blue that is in the middle there. And it has like an oak um, frame. And this is right here is where I'm seeing just a tiny little like nick. There might be one right here as well. It's okay. I'm on. All right. Yes, I would call it a pin and ink. Yes, they did a very good job. And I did. I had, did see some other ones of theirs on eBay. Um, however, I did not see a poodle on eBay, so I might stick it up there if I don't see any interest here. All right. <laughs> no worries. Okay. I will put that off to the side. And... Okay, choice is rustic or fancy? Rustic or fancy? Hello, J-Cat. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I was just checking. So, rustic or fancy? Which one? Rustic or fancy? Let me know. Catch up on my numbers here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see Rustic first. All right. So, that one in there. And, I'm going to go with this one. This is a little bird. It's going to be an offer up of starting at $3. Yes, YouTube does take subscribers away sometimes if you don't go and watch their thing. <laughs> you can celebrate payroll. You've got another one done, right? <laughs> Good job, Jen. I'm so happy. So excited. Okay, so this one is not marked 
with anything he is pottery there's a little hole here and then at the top here there are two holes now this could be for hanging him up um or it could be like something like an incense burner or something i I'm not sure. So, but he's like an olive green parrot. And he's got the painting there, sides. And I did say three, starting at $3, right? Did I say that? Yes, it does kind of, it looks like the uh, Mexican pottery ish. Them. All right, I'm going to move a little bit faster. It looks like a jalapeno bird. <laughs> there you go. That's what it is. That's what it is. All right. Okay. So I'm not seeing anyone that is bidding. So we're going to move on. And I guess you'll have to stay at our house for a little bit longer. <laughs> well, I'll set him back. Okay, so let's do. Hmm. I'm going to do these other doggies over here. Wait. So. Let's do the dogs. We've done several kitties. We're going to do some dogs. Sorry, no choice that time. <laughs> but I think you'll like my choice. All right. So this. This is one. There's a pair of these guys. These are awesome. Okay, so there's two, see, this one is a tiny bit smaller than this one, but they're both looking that same direction, and I can't remember exactly, wait, haha, <laughs> I wrote it down, <laughs> okay, these are a set of two, Cavalier, King Charles Spaniels. Okay, so these go for some good money on YouTube's, not YouTube, on eBay. <laughs> so, yes, there is. I will tell you how tall they are. I'm going to start them off at $20. Okay, so I'm going to set this one down and we're going to measure. Okay. Um, he is about six inches tall. Okay, they're both roughly the, around the same price, or size. One is a little bit smaller than the other. Yes. Aw, that's neat. And I just could not split them up. They have been sisters or brothers all their lives, so they got to stay together, right? Um, they are like this beautiful, um, caramel color, I would call them. And they do have some crazing. I just saw one that did. Okay, so this one has a little 
um, paint loss here, but that is under the glaze. So that must have happened at manufacturer. And this one has, where did I see that? So the crazing is, it's very faint, but it is there. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. And they are marked. They have a stamp on the bottom that says 79. So I don't know if that means they were made in 79. Or if that's just the number that they were. Because other ones that I've seen aren't don't have that stamp, so I don't know. So twenty dollars for the set of these beautiful King Charles spaniels. And it's very hard to show without maybe. Haha, there we go. <laughs> you can still them like puppets. All right. Well, I'm not seeing any bits. Hello. Hello, Miss uh, Stephanie. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Okay, I want to go, I'm just checking to see if there's any bids on this, on this set here. Oh, I do see, yay, Belinda, thank you very much. For, she's in for $20 on these. And you are definitely getting a good deal, <laughs> that is for sure. They're going for more than that. Yes, thank you. All right. They just look so precious. So we're going to call it going once, going twice, and sold. Sold to. Let's see what we got. Hey, how many likes do I have? <laughs> I have more, more than 50. And, okay, so we're going to do a choice of goose or cow. Oh, 53. Okay, so if I get 55 likes, I'll sing a little song for you guys, okay? So, choice is goose or cow. Goose or cow. Or should I say geese? <laughs> oh, I see cow, Terry. Okay. So, these are going to be. There are three sets here, okay? And I am going to start them out. <laughs> I'm going to start them out at $5. There are three sets of salt and pepper shakers. And they are, these two are in the shape of cows. <laughs> and they do have marked made in China on them. They do these two do have their stoppers. They're not matching the stoppers, but they are stoppers in them. Okay. Got the yellow bell there, and the blue ribbon. And then these So again, starting bid of $5. Now these are marked art mark. 
on the bottom. There's the tag there. These have their stoppers. Again, not matching. So maybe the one, <laughs> maybe, let me see. Ah, uh, kind of, I don't know. But is the, if they got swapped or something, I don't know. So these are like milk pails. Okay. They're $5 for all three sets, all together, one money. And then this one is the last. And it also says, I love country on here. So two sets of milk jugs with cows on them. And this one uh, is made in Taiwan and it has Impulse Giftware Inc. Linda Higgins 1988 on those. Oh. That says I love country. All three sets. Five dollars. Moo. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yes, they definitely have the 80s look. <laughs> they do. All right. So we're going to set those off to the side. And we're going to do another choice. Cat or mouse? Cat or mouse? I think I know what the choice will be, but we'll see. You might surprise me. Cat or mouse? <laughs> I'm going to sneak another drink. And those dogs were number 112, in case I didn't say that. All right. Oh dear, now we've got cat and mouse. Let me see, every other one. <laughs> That's so funny, every other one is cat and mouse. Okay, let me see which one is first. Oh, okay, I see mouse first. Yay. Okay, I'll do a cat next. <laughs> okay, so. Hmm, I don't have any of those, Nancy, but I'll have to keep my eye out for them for you. I have more mouse than cat. That is so funny. Okay, so this mouse, he's a little funny looking, okay? But, you know, sometimes we're a little funny looking, right? So on the bottom, it's he's marked 1972. And it also has, it has something else. It has a name. I'm not sure what the name is. And then went something to somewhere okay someone went somewhere <laughs> in 1972 okay so look at him oh my goodness it's a toothpick holder <laughs> for your cheese right look at him he's just so funny <laughs> Mr. Oriental looking. And I don't know why, but he has a cape of leaves on his back.
<laughs> okay, we're gonna do him at a set price of five dollars for Mr. Mousy toothpick holder. <laughs> And it is number 113. So just put 113 in the chat. You'd like Mr. Mr. Chinese Mouse. Chinese bamboo is very strong. <laughs> All right. Oh, we have five dollars. That's fine. Um. Belinda, you put in five dollars first. I'll go with that. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's just a boot. Okay. Now, choice of. Hmm. Oh, I said I would do a cat, didn't I? I'm going to do these. Because I forgot. All right. Belinda, are you building a zoo? No. I don't know. She just likes all the little sitabouts. They're so cute. Okay. So these little kitties are going to be an offer up. And we're going to start them out. Now, I saw Misty have one of these. She only had one, though. Okay. So we're going to start this both of these out at ten dollars together okay for the set aren't they adorable so um they are made in japan because this one has a little stamp on it that says that if you can see it right there Um, here's the other one. And I see Belinda at 15 and then Judy at 20 and Belinda at 22. So this, uh, tig this one here, <laughs> I call him tiger. This one here is a little, um, more orange coloring a little darker they're so adorable and then I see Judy at 23 and here's the other one it's a little bit lighter but not by much she's a little more demure <laughs> And Belinda at 25, Judy at 26. And they're just so, they're so cute. They're so tiny. I've got a set. Belinda at 28. I'm going to tell you how, how tall they are. <laughs> they're about three inches tall. And i got to pick up that one. And make sure... It's fine. I'll show you. Oh, we got uh, Judy at 29, Belinda at 30, Judy at 31. And I don't know, with them together, they're just so adorable together. They both they lean the opposite directions. They're they're mates, right? <laughs> uh later, Timothy. <laughs> All right. Hello, Sharon. Thank you very much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Yay. So we've got Judy at 36. 
<laughs> Belinda 37. <laughs> yeah, we got a cat fight, right? Over the cats. They're so cute. <laughs> Sharon, I've been on about, I think, two hours, so probably I've got lots more, though, so we'll just see how, how long it takes. Yes, get it, girls. Oh, Judy, Judy says yours, Melinda. <laughs> All right, so going once, going twice. And okay, the mouse was this. Okay, I'm getting confused. Hang on a sec. <laughs> okay, your next choice. Well, actually, I'm just going to do one because I have one that I want to do. And it will be next. So, um, let me put these in before I get messed up. All right. And all right. Those were number 114. Those cards in here. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to do this next. So this is a set of wrapping paper. I almost said wallpaper. It is not wallpaper. Oh, sorry, Belinda. There we go. Um, yes, junk journal stuff coming right up. <laughs> so this lovely uh, wrapping paper is vintage. I'm not exactly sure on the age of these. Um, let me see. This one is open. No, I don't have any skunks. Sorry. Uh, and it has, oh, how in the world am I going to show this to you? Look at those beautiful birds. And the colors on here. These are going to be a set price of $12. And they are number, let me see, number 115. So the other one is this one. Yellow with the daisies. And one more. So the yellow with the daisies has not been opened at all. The This one has been opened, but there are, I don't think it was used. Okay, it may have been, well. There's definitely two, at least two sheets here, so. I don't think it was used. Um, and then this one has been opened, but I don't think it has been used either. And it says, happy birthday. And it is um, like a kind of a peachy cream background with some yellow daisies and butterflies and stuff on here. So these are $12, number 115, for the set of three wrapping paper.
All right, and your choice for the next item is bunny or eggs, bunny or eggs. Thank you, Sharon, I've got you down for those. All right, little brown puppy, um, I will do that next, okay, Judy? I promise. So I see bunnies and I thought. I didn't see that. <sighs> okay, nothing broke, I promise. Nothing broke. Make the whole share real quick. Yes, nothing broke. Hooray! Okay, so I'm going to give you your choice of bunnies, and I'm going to give you a free bunny. Okay, so choice of bunnies. We're going to start it off at five dollars starting bid. Choice of okay, and clean up an aisle. <laughs> Yep, thank you. <coughs> Shh, don't show it. Don't tell it. All right, so this is choice number one. Is this lovely needlepoint pillow bunny? Okay, so you got the mama and the baby with the eggs in the basket. Okay, and here's the back. It is a velvet, green velvet. Okay, so that's choice number one. Choice number two is this little guy. Look at him. He's so soft and fuzzy. He is uh, vintage. Let me see. He's made by, in 1996, Berkeley Designs. Okay, he's got a little carrot sweater on. And his ears are bendable, so you can form them change them look terry you probably saw it on my channel <laughs> before <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody all right and here is the last choice and remember there's an extra little bunny that you'll get as well so this little pudgy bunny he's chunky chunky right <laughs> Very cute, nice little tan color. He'll just slide right into your uh, decor. And I believe it's a hobbyist piece and it's marked with a B on the bottom. So choice, $5 starting bid. And here's the extra little bunny. Bunny, bunny. Look at it. She's so pretty. She's all ready for Easter in her little, uh, with her little bow. <laughs> Choose what you want. Okay, on these three. <laughs> oh, got the little pink ears. And if you just want this, I'll do her for $2. Oh, I see vintage digs in for five. 
and I see Picasso cat. One, I mean, pretend. All right, I think I'm gonna call it there. So, got going once, going twice, and sold. All right, so Picasso Cat, you want number one, you want number one, is that correct? Just let me know, and I'll put in this little bunny with it. And then Vintage Digs and Sharon C. Would you like either of these? All right. For $10. Otherwise, we can figure out who wants what or whatever. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, so I've got vintage digs down for that one. For the pillow and the little bunny, that is number 116. And Sharon, see, you want this one. All right, wonderful. Got you in for the tan bunny. And Vintage Digs, would you like this one? And while I'm waiting on that. So this one is number 117. <laughs> and okay, that's fine. I understand. <laughs> Okay, so your next choice. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna do the little. Okay, so I've got two little brown puppies here. So, um, who was it that was asking me about the? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Belinda. Um, so who was asking about the little brown puppy? Did you mean the cute? a uh, smooth one or the bumpy kind of rascally one playful one <laughs> Judy which one were you thinking All right. Uh, okay. Oh, both. Okay, we'll do both. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do, since we're doing both of these, I'll show them to you a little bit more in detail. Um, we're going to do starting bid $8. So, we've got this cute, cute, cute little puppy. And she's got her bow 
and she is marked with a number that says 1563. Uh, yeah, Picasso Cat, if you just fill out that form and submit it, it will send it to me directly. So, yeah. Aw, you're so sweet, Belinda. Yes, she wants your info. So I don't know um, how you guys could connect, maybe on Instagram or something like that. And then um, the other one here is, this one has like a texture to him, okay? It's not the spaghetti, but it's definitely got that texture, okay? And here's the front. <laughs> He's just so, just so cute and playful. And I'm seeing Belinda at 20. Rose is out. Thank you for letting me know that. And it, this is marked and it says made in Japan. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. And I see Juliet or Judy at 25 and Belinda at 27 for the pair of brown little puppies. They are so adorable. Um, no, it's for both of them. Together. And I see Judy at 33. My arms are tired from holding it up. <laughs> Oh, so so Belinda's over there trying to make a deal. <laughs> Belinda in at thirty four. Sneak in another little drink here. And I'm going to say going once. <laughs> Hello, Mickey. Thank you for coming in. Going twice. Get your last bid's in. Oh, your brother's in Bartlesville. I know where Bartlesville is. Definitely. Been shopping there at the mall several times. Went to youth camp down south of Bartlesville. <laughs> That's so funny. It's such a small world, isn't it? All right, and sold. So we'll see who came in last there. All right, and those are number 20, or 120, I'm sorry, not 20, 120.
Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to, let's see. Okay. So you guys tell me what you want to do next. Okay. So I have this elephant over here and I have some more little kitties. And I've got a naughty puppy. And I've got a sugar and creamer that has some puppies on it, some dogwood, which is really cool. I've got some, uh, well, several different kinds of salt and pepper shakers that are either uh, geese, or wait, swans, or um, pigs or bunnies, and I've got a goose planter, and I've got a little American Girl doll uh, puppy. Um, so you let me know. And I've got some ducks and an owl, another owl, and some more kitties. And a fish and a dolphin. So, what do you think? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Judy and Belinda, you guys like the same things. All right. So, I see sugar and creamer. Okay. Nice. Owls are cool. They are. Okay. So let's do the sugar and creamer since I saw that. And, oh, I do have one more thing that is um, ephemera. Actually, two more. But I'll do those in a little bit, maybe, if you guys are interested. Can't walk backwards. Oh, learn something new every day. I did not know that. Yes, there is a book. We'll do that in a minute. <laughs> We're going to start with this set. Now, this is a really neat set, okay? So, it's really cool. These are petal pets. It's a creamer, a sugar and a creamer. And they're 1989 Ampus Custom Agencies, okay? And I'm going to show them to you. We're going to start these off at $10 for the set, okay? And what's really cool is they're called dogwood. And do you see why they're called dogwood? Let me see if can... They're really, really neat. So they have the blue doggies. <laughs> And little white flowers, and then this peach pink coral, I call it coral color. There are no chips or cracks. A little bit of dust, but I'll get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> there's the inside. Here is the bottom. Let me see if I can. Turn it so you guys can read that. They are made in Japan. Starting bid for this creamer and sugar. See, I did have 20 on them. <laughs> but I ha I'm going to do offer up of 10. So that's so start at 10. Here's the bottom of the creamer. <laughs> I just thought they were too adorable to pass up. And it's not like in your face, like, oh, there's a dog on here. You know, it looks florally. All right. So those are number. 121. If anybody's interested in those later, you let me know. Okay. 
And we will move on. And I am going to do the book next, but I thought I would do these first. So these are a set of three vintage greeting cards, and I believe they are all, um, yes, they are all get well. They have, they're marked on the bottom, on the back, A-L, which means, um, I'm going to say this wrong probably, amalgamated lithographers, USA, and there's a set of three. And I'm gonna start these out at $5 for the set of three. They all have a envelope with them and the envelopes have not been used. Okay. There is a slight bit of yellowing to the envelope, but not, well, actually I think that was a shadow. I don't know. All right, I'm going to show you the prints. They are so adorable. So what did I say? Starting bid of $5, I believe. It says, so sorry you're ill. Look at those little girls. Those little angels. And the pink on there is just oh, so good, right? <laughs> now I know why Misty and uh, Michelle, why they went so good. <laughs> and here, I'll read it says, sorry to hear of your illness and sending this note to tell how happy everyone will be when you're up and out and well. And this side is pink and this side is white. They are very pretty. I... <laughs> Terry, <laughs> I do have some, some, another little piggy. I'll show him in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is the next one. It's a birdie. Just love it. It's so adorable. I know Kim, it's so pretty. It says, hope you'll soon be well. You're much too nice a person to be kept indoors. And so here's a wish for a quick recovery along with this warm hello. Stay well always. How do you always stay well? Hmm. So cute. They've got like this shine to them. And that's why the the camera is like white or the it's like whiting it out because I have that shine to them. So like it's got that can you hear it <laughs> got that texture okay and here's the last one it says get well wish for now and always it's got the double doors how they had the when the farmhouse There's a butterfly on there all right so I see Off to get your vaccine shots. Well, hopefully everything goes well. Thank you. I think I've got your info. So, but you can, yeah. All right. So I've got Belinda in at five for the set of three. Get well. I almost wish they didn't say get well, but they are so, so cute that I had to get them. <laughs> yes. Hello, Stephanie. Again, <laughs> I saw you pop in earlier. All right. And I'm going to go say going once, going twice, going three times sold. Number 122. All right. Who is asking me about the book? We're going to do that next. Oh, 
cards. I need another one of me, don't I? <laughs> okay. All right, Miss Sharon. So this book is called Animal Tales. And it is a reproduction from an antique book by Ernest Nister. And I did show this in one of my haul videos, I believe. Um, it's by Philomel Books. And it was first, pub first published in 1894. Um, I don't see the copyright date though. It has who it's copyright by, but not the date. So this one is really, really neat. It's a fold down book. I know we need to collab for sure. You let me know. Because I have mine on Mondays, so if you want to come on my channel, that would be wonderful on Mondays. Um, or I can go on yours. Let me know. Okay, so here's the one of the pictures. So it's a fold down. Um, I don't know if I can show you, but the backs of them are also printed. Like the color. <laughs> I don't know how to. See, that's the back of it. It's also printed. Okay, we're going to start. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start uh, this at $8. And there is, I'm going to try and show you each of the main pictures. Um, but I think there is one that needs a little. Touch up too. Okay. And then, yeah, it's this one, I think. It's there. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> so this one's got the bunnies. So there's the rabbit's tail. The goat's tail, the calves' tail, and the pig's tail. Okay. Well, I guess I thought, yeah, okay. There's a beautiful peacock. These would be awesome if you wanted to take it apart. I don't know. Um, this one is in pretty good condition, though, so I don't know if I would, but they would, it would be cool for, hello, Debbie, at Vagabond, Vagabond, I'm just going to call you Vagabond, <laughs> Vagabond Debbie, <laughs> hello, and Vintage Tex Uprising Texas, thank you, okay, so this one is the one that is separated, And there's just one, and I think that would be an easy fix because it does it does pop up, um, but it's just separated from the the back here, and that's because it's on the cover. So, all right. So where are we at on that? We've got eight dollars from Sharon. And I'm going to call it going once, going twice. <laughs> A lot of my favorite peeps, too. And sold. You all are my favorite peeps. All right. Set that down there. All right. I'm going to give you a choice. of 
see. Oh, I was going to do the pig. Let me do the pig first. And you be thinking about your choice between a deer or a bird. Mm, that might be a hard choice. Okay. Deer or bird. And um, Debbie, I love the masks that I got from you guys, from you. If you have more, um, you should let everybody know if you have more of those masks. They are really, really neat. So the one that I got is yellow, and it's it's nice and sturdy. Um, you know, it doesn't feel like too flimsy. And I don't know. I really like it. It's a bright yellow. And I also got a black one that has a hummingbird on it, I believe. They're vibrant. They're gorgeous. I love those masks. Okay, so first we're going to do the little piggy. So this little piggy is by Russ. And it says, Little Lovables, Kathleen Kelly Critter Factory. Um, made in China. But he's just too cute. He's just too cute. I'm going to do him for three dollars starting bid <laughs> look at him he's just like <laughs> but he's got this big old grin and i'm not really sure exactly he's probably made of resin i would say there's the back side. Tail. This little piggy went to the live sale. Yes. That's a great one. <laughs> $3. All right. And I saw bird first and then deer. So we'll do the bird first and then we'll do the deer. That's how that goes. All right. So I don't see anyone in for the little piggy who's just too whatever, I guess, for today. <laughs> I thought it was cute. All right. So birdie 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 this one is also by russ hmm, i didn't know that okay it says nature song black capped chickadee and it does have uh what number it is but it is a little hard to tell i think it says number 210 i'm not sure so here's the figurine or sit about, as Miss Danny calls them. And by the way, I know Miss Danny is having her uh, live talk right now. Um, so after we're done, you can go and uh, rewatch that. It's usually always very inspiring and helpful. She does a good job. All right. No problem. Uh, let's see, we're going to start this little birdie out at $5. It's very well done. Cute little figurine. I don't know if my daughter's in the chat saying what she's supposed to be saying. <laughs> it's okay. It's an offer up five dollars. So if you're interested in little chickadee bird. No chips or cracks whatsoever anywhere. It is I don't know. I'd say it I'd put this probably in the nineties or eighties. Eighties or nineties. Um I see Pat in at $5. Oh. 
I always forget to take off the thing. Cutie cutie. All right, going once, going twice, three times the charm, sold. Okay. Here is the little deer. And so this one is Congratulations. <laughs> you won. Um, this one is it's a little perfume bottle and it is by Avon. Okay. Um, but I just thought it was so cute. It's called Precious Doe. And I don't know what the I don't remember what the name of the um perfume was that was in here. It is not in here anymore. Um, there is a slight smell. However, <laughs> here, you want to sniff? Um, however, I was told by somebody, I forget who, um, that you can use mouthwash and get that smell out of the perfume. I did not know that. So and it's got a little bit of gold that's been uh, slightly worn off on the eyes. So this one is, yes, I'm aware, Timothy, thank you. Um, this one is, and the sticker is kind of coming off. It's hard to, to see. This one we're gonna do, uh, start at $3 for the little dough. And this part is glass. Um, the head, I believe, though, is not. It's a, like a plastic. I know, I just de decapitated him. <laughs> and then you have the lid. So, all right, we've got Picasso Cat in for $3. So you can kind of turn that how you want him to, to look <laughs> or her. Hello, Lori. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I was told that with mouthwash. I didn't know that either. Mouthwash. Hmm, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, but I have another one that I want to try it on. So all right, I'm gonna say going once, going twice, and sold. Thank you very much. And that one was number 123. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more, and then um, I have to get off. <laughs> Because I got to go take my son to pick up some of his school supplies. So, uh, okay, so next choice is hmm. oh, well. I'll do this. Kitties or a goose planter. That's your choice. Kitties or goose planter. Oh, 
I couldn't think of what I had just sold a second ago. My brain. Uh. Okay, so let's go with, okay, I see kitties, 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 I see kitties, okay, so these are actually salt and pepper shakers, okay, but they're kitties, and they're very cute, and they're made in Japan, and they've got numbers on them, so I think they could be left in. Okay, not positive of that because the sticker, the Made in Japan sticker, I don't know. So, but they're really cute. Okay, so there's the bottoms. They have their stoppers. I'm going to show you one at a time. Little brown kitty. And they've got their whiskers here. And we're going to start these off for the set. We're going to start them off at $5. Here's the back, and here's the other one. She's so cute. She's like, can you some milk? <laughs> meow. I could just hear him. Meow, meow, meow. Just trying to see. No. So I thought I saw. There's a little bit of crazy right on the tushy. Don't know if it's gonna show up though very well. All right, I see Blue Flamingo at 10. Well, let's see, no, Judy was first at 10. <laughs> And <laughs> you guys are funny. And then Lori at 11 for the cool kitties. I'm not sure. They've got the eyes for the Siamese, but I'm not sure if they are. All right, and Judy is out. Okay, so I'm going to say going once, going twice, and they are very cute. Sold. We'll wait and see if there was any snipers. <laughs> And I'm gonna do, so I've got two more sets of kitties. I'll do two more sets of kitties since you guys are really loving my kitties today. Okay. So. All right, so the first set is This one, it is Victoria Ceramics, made in Japan. And these also have stoppers. So I guess these are also <laughs> um, salt pepper shakers. However, they're really neat. They have these bejeweled eyes. They're like a green, kind of an aquamarine maybe. They are really, really cool. So we're going to start these out. 
I'm going to start these at seven. Seven dollars. There are no chips or cracks or anything. Very well done. They do have some like shading in there. In the paint. Both have their cork stoppers, which makes them a little older. And okay, yeah. My son must not have put sold on the other ones. <laughs> All right, so I've got B, I see Rose at nine for this set. These are the blingy ones. And Lori in at 10. I don't know if I showed that up close. The Victoria Ceramics. I'll try and show you. There we go. Rose in at 11. Sharon is out. Thank you for letting me know. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna start calling going once. Get your last few bids in going twice. <laughs> and sold. And I think what I'm seeing is that went to Rose, thank you very much. All right, um, and that was 11. All right, the last set is a home co set. Now, I am putting all three of these together. I believe, let me see, let me just look at the numbers. Yes. So these two are from one set and this one is from another, but they look so similar. I'm putting them all three together. So we're going to start these out at $7 as well. Seven dollars since I already said it. <laughs> and so I'll show you each one. There are three of them. This one, they are home co. They are all all three of them are home co. This one is marked 1428 on the bottom there. It's got a little pink bow. She's looking up. She's so pretty. Little white kitty. And here's the brother. <laughs> also looking up. Now the eyes on these have a slight like bluish gray or grayish blue, however you want to say that. Love it. And this is a kind of a blue green, maybe teal bow on that one. And then this one is marked 1413. Home Co sticker on there. And she's got the blue eyes. And she's looking a little pouty. <laughs> Go to pouty one. All right. So I see Rose in at seven. Thank you very much. <laughs> Every, <laughs> that's funny. Well, I call you Lori Ann. So, you know, maybe that's the difference. 
You can tell him that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, so funny, so funny. All right. And let's see here. I'm going to start calling it on these. I want to get everybody's name in the pot, though, here. Um, and let's see here where we're at. You have your real, aw, an orange tabby. Aw. I don't think I, well, at least I don't have any more. Yeah. All right. So we're going once. <laughs> Storming and he's running around. Going twice on the set of three. And sold. Thank you, thank you, everyone. And I'm going to do a giveaway here real quick, and then I've got to sign off. So let me see what numbers I need to put in. I need to put in that number and that number. And the one I just did was this number. <laughs> All right. Um. Milo, that's cool. <laughs> All right, Rose, I've got you down for that one as well. Okay, now I'm gonna shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up. And um, I have a question for you guys. I'm thinking about doing a um, a mystery box. And I didn't know if anybody would be interested in a mystery box from me. I would probably do it in the large mailing box size. So it's, it's like probably about this size. It's like 12 by, I think it's... I think it's 12 by 12 by 8. Um, so would you guys be interested in me doing one of those? I'm not sure yet. I didn't I didn't want to offer it and then, you know, not have someone in there. All right. My son's going to kill me probably. <laughs> Can't look. And number 112. And that's Miss Belinda. Miss Belinda, you get a free little prize, and it's going to be a little critter of some sort. I will uh, let you know. Or maybe you'll just find out in your box. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming today. I had a lot of fun. I liked doing the giving you guys the choice kind of between a couple of different things. Helps me to know what you guys are interested in. Um, also, uh, I don't know if there was, yay, I know you love little critters, so you'll have an extra one for your zoo. <laughs> we, Belinda, we need pictures. So I don't know, if you, are you on Instagram? If so, you got to send us pictures or post some pictures of your collection. Thank you very much, everyone. I really, really, really appreciate you guys being here and spending this time with me. Um, I have a lot of fun with you guys. I'm going to try. Um, so I recently got some. Uh, some cookbooks. And I thought about doing kind of what um, Katie did, or trying one of them out. So I might do that. I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Would you like to see me do, you know, like try out a, a recipe, an old recipe or something? So 
Um, just some ideas I've had. No problem. I understand that, you know, like there's a bazillion sales. Um, I am not sure who is next. Um, does somebody know who is, who has a sale next? We've got a couple of calendars, I think, going around. Um, I'm in a couple of different groups, so it's hard for me <laughs> to know who's who and what's what. So, but I really appreciate everybody hanging out with me. Yay. Thank you very much. It is, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate it. So, okay. Let me go back to where I was. Yes. Oh, Vintage Digs has a sale at seven. Is that seven Eastern or seven uh, Central? And I don't know if any of my mods are still in the channel or in the chat. If so, you guys can share links or whatever, but I do have to go because I've got to take my son to pick up his school stuff. So bye everybody. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Love you all. Love, love, love. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.